Hey guys, uh, Rebirth here, and today I'm going to be doing a somewhat silent uh, unboxing of my new camera, the Canon EOS 60D uh, DSLR camera. Um, this isn't really like a silent uh, unboxing since uh, I'm talking. Basically, I'm doing a voiceover, basically kind of like my reviews because I didn't really talk in the whole unboxing. And you can see that I'm cutting the box where the camera and lens shipped in with that dirty old machete which I know you guys know and love so yeah just getting through this uh, first uh, 40 or so seconds so uh, bear with me until we get to the juicy goodness of the box also gonna be doing some cuts here and there and to get away from boredom and here's the first thing I, that came out of the box the EF 50 millimeter f 1.8 second series lens uh, got this because it is a recommended prime lens a prime lens uh, for filming uh, on the DSLR and actually taking pictures because of a greater aperture and it allows more light to go in so uh, yeah or you can probably hear a beat from Skype and here's the EO 60d box uh, I bought the body only but with the lens separate, uh, I didn't really want to buy the kit lens since it's kind of not a good lens. And this lens, uh, this body is just uh, everything, the charger, battery, uh, the body, and uh, all the cables necessary, all the manuals. And this is a brand new uh, camera that I purchased from bestelectronics.com. So yeah. In addition to those two things, I ended up getting a free case from bestelectronics.com, uh, bestpriceelectronics.com. It's a pretty dinky uh, case carry bag. So I decided to just buy a nice quality one from uh, Amazon, uh, an actual Canon gadget bag. Uh, fits uh, the DSLR and a couple lenses. All right, it's time to unbox uh, everything. And by the way, I purchased a 16 gigabyte SDHC card from Amazon. Uh, the EOS 60D takes that type of memory, not compact flash like uh, most other DSLRs. But it's uh, this uh, type of camera model is like leaning towards like the Rebel series, uh, more uh, entry point uh, DSLRs. Um, that's uh, for first part documentation. That's the warranty card, which I'll be needing later. Um, we got some software, drivers, and uh, instruction manual. Uh, works both for OS X and Windows. Uh, you got the 60D manuals. Uh, on the left, it's in English, and on the right, it's in uh, foreign language. Uh, I believe it's Spanish. And what else do I have? Oh, now it's time to open up the box and get all the hardware and electronic stuff that's in there. Uh, first up, we have the... Uh, AV cables uh, that plug into the side. Um, let me set aside some things over there. And uh, uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, mini USB to USB uh, cable uh, for connecting the camera to the computer, unless you have a SD card reader slot thing. And uh, what's next? Oh, it's the battery charger. Uh, this plugs right into the wall. You don't need an additional cable going out of it but it's uh, kind of a, a hog for the um, uh, the outlet and we have the LPE6 battery I believe uh, I'm doing this by uh, memory uh, the EO 60D neck strap a really nice embroidered all over and stuff uh, I think that's the right term to use um, and next we have the Canon EO 60D uh, so I'm going to be uh, putting that off to the side, I think. No, I'm going to be opening it up. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from iMovie, me dubbing this and remembering uh, what, I exa what exactly I did. And um, out of the bubble wrap, you see that it comes in like this cheesecloth looking uh, protection cloth. And here you go, the EO 60D, the back side of it. And yeah, the full 360. And overall, it, it feels really nice in the hand. It's got a nice weight to it, uh, though the uh, body kind of feels a bit 
cheap. It's made out of this fiberglass resin, not a magnesium alloy body like uh, the 7D, uh, the 5D Mark II, the 50D. Um, but it feels a lot better than like the Rebel T2i. Uh, I've actually used that. Um, so yeah, overall really nice. Uh, you got a scroll wheel and here you go. Uh, the SD card goes into the side over there like that. And the best thing of all is the, or there's a viewfinder. And best thing of all about this camera, it's the very, very angle or whatever. It's a, a very, ang or whatever. It's a multi-rotational LCD screen. It works just like a, um, how would I say this, a camcorder, a regular camcorder. And this uh, camera actually shoots in full 1080p or 1080i HD. And it's really, really good. It's on par with the Canon EO, uh, EO70. I would recommend you guys checking out videos re regarding it. And uh, the Rebel T2i uh, got a finger smudge on the screen. I wiped that off. And uh, if you guys want to see like uh, com comparisons of the video quality, uh, check uh, the videos out regarding uh, those two camera models I, I mentioned. And. Uh, yeah, I get a little bit dust on the screen, but it's okay. And uh, so I cut myself off in the middle of that recording, and uh, as you might have heard, I got a phone call. So I uh, had to pick that up, and uh, now I start opening up the EF 50mm F1.8 uh, Series 2, or the second version of this uh, lens. Uh, I open it up and you get some bubble wrap and uh, it's kind of hard to take out which I'm taking out the warranty card and manual but I decided to just take out the lens as it is easier to take out. And uh, just like the camera body it comes with pla uh, pla plastic bubble wrap wrapped around it but not a cheesecloth but it feels um, like a nice silicone-y uh, not latex uh, plastic, uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, anyways, uh, you got that autofocus, manual focus switch, um, nice uh, 50 millimeter lens. It just stays at 50 millimeters. It does not zoom or anything. I bought another lens for zooming and whatnot, which will be coming in on Friday, uh, as tomorrow is uh, Thanksgiving and my birthday. So yeah, I'm opening this up. Uh, this is an early uh, birthday present for me. Uh, I've been saving up for five months for this camera, or ever since I it, I learned of its announcement. Because I, originally I was saving for the 7D, so yeah, I got I've got a good deal. And I didn't want a, the Rebel T2i as it felt I've used it and felt very cheap. And uh, here we go, me opening up the lens cap and me opening up the mount area, unscrewing it, and boom. That's where it mounts, and now I'm going to mount it onto the camera, so uh, you don't, you press that button, and then you unscrew it that way, and boom, comes right off, and you have a metal mount, and you follow that red dot on the lens and the actual body, you see that, and then you line it up, and then you twist it, and it locks into place and it stays on the camera and now you can take off the lens cap and turn on the camera and do all your business that you need to do um, yeah um, for a full review of this I'm not sure if I actually want to do it but you can uh, watch one on YouTube uh, digital rev uh, something I don't remember um, yeah and that's pretty much it uh, if I forget anything, um, 